be able to run for president and admit that you don't know how to get on the internet, just like John McCain did this week. But our next guest says kids will be at a serious disadvantage if they don't click to begin. That's learning that the internet has to offer. Josh Newman is the chairman and founder of Click to Begin, and he joins us now to tell us more about exactly what that means. Good morning. Hi, how Thanks are you? Thanks for coming. Great. Thank you, Emily. I appreciate the opportunity. Tell us uh, about Click to Begin. What is it? Sure. Well, it started off with an idea of just a tiny bit of background. I run a digital agency, and we produce websites and uh, 2D, 3D animation, marketing campaigns, and media buying planning. And so it came from an idea of being able to figure out how can we give back to the community that helped us kind of get to where we are. And so um, just in sitting around with uh, Doug Rowell, who's our executive creative director and my business partner, and Steve Eaton, who is our head of finance and HR, we were thinking of what can we do to give back, and uh, just had I remembered about five years ago when I was living in Washington DC helping out a gentleman named Lowell Dodge and uh, his group was called First Time Computers and they had taken used computers that were donations from uh, either individuals or from companies. They would wipe the hard drives clean and they would place them in uh, homes and schools and so on. Mm -hmm. And we thought that it was really a fantastic idea and a fantastic program, but the one thing we wanted to kind of do to, uh, to take it to the next level was to be able to do that idea but with new computers. We just don't have kind of the support to be able to really start off with uh, used computers and be able to kind of deal with all the problems that right. could, could happen with, uh, with different types of computers and models and, and things. And a new computer. I mean, what a graduation present. <laughs> yeah, no, ab absolutely. Our, uh, our first program was called the Click to Succeed program, and what that was was it was we partnered with uh, ABCD in Bridgeport. It's a community development group, and we were able to take those. Uh, we were able to work with them to get a list of applications and uh, and a list of names of different students and things. And from there, we were able to kind of fine tune them down to a list of five people that were uh, seniors at Bridgeport High Schools. They were graduating and they were going on to further education. And from there, we gave them uh, new laptops with. Uh, full Microsoft Vista operating system wow. with uh, Microsoft Office latest editions and this way we were able to kind of help um, with both giving back to the community but also to be able to kind of bridge the gap between those who are a little bit more fortunate so when you're sitting in a classroom and you have somebody to your left and somebody to your right who's got a laptop now that person in the middle's got one too. Right so how did you pick the students? Um, it was there was an application process so what it was was we based it on uh, SAT scores we based it on, uh, on a couple essays that were written about technology how it's influenced them and how it could potentially uh, influence them also down the road. We chose Bridgeport, Connecticut kind of as our entry point for, uh, for a couple reasons. Um, first, Steve, our executive director, spent some time growing up there. Um, my mother had actually taught in Bridgeport for several years where she taught the uh, inner city gifted program for right. fourth and fifth graders. And so there's kind of a, a personal place in my heart for, for Bridgeport. So it seemed like a, a nice area to start. Now, how many kids have you helped out so far? Uh, we've helped out five so far within our initial program. Part of the uh, the issue we've run into, and we certainly have some some big dreams, but we've run into a couple issues where it's almost the chicken and the egg thing. Is in order to get grants and to get fundraising, you have to show that you've done something. Mm -hmm. But in order to do something, you need money to start. Right. So we were able to kind of take the, uh, the what we'd call the low-hanging fruit to be able to say, all right, what's the easiest way that we can make a, an impact but do it quickly? And so the uh, the five computers that were uh, that were purchased were really a a quick way to uh, get them to the students. We had this whole donation thing that, uh, and a whole event that was about uh, two weeks ago. Mm -hmm. And those computers were now given to the students and they'll be able to use them for in the fall when they're off to college. That's great. I, I can't imagine the feeling of giving the computers to these well-deserving students. Yeah, that was great. It was, uh, and one of the one of the most touching things is actually two days ago got a thank you note from one of the students, and uh, he just mentioned how it's it's going to potentially change his life, and how he never would have been able to have a computer without this program, and now he'll be able to uh, to use it for both uh, for both in the summer while he's taking classes, and then in school while he's uh, you know, officially in a, an undergraduate program. And how could this eventually help out parents? Um, well, I th I think in terms of uh, in terms of helping out parents, it, it has it's the opportunity where you can have a computer um, where and it kind of gets into my uh, an area I'd like to talk about also, but with um, placing computers in homes, mm -hmm. um, the laptop program, like I mentioned, was kind of the easier way for us to just get you know make an impact quickly. Our longer term vision is the ability to have these computers, um, but placed in people's homes. So if we started with uh, children younger than, than high school, if we started with children who are five, six, seven years old, be able to have desktop computers put into people's homes mm -hmm. and they'd be able to have uh, educational software on them. Ideally, they'd have uh, an internet connection and, uh, and from there, parents could work parents could work with the, uh, with the students to be able to kind of learn alongside them. 
Great. Wonderful program. Thank you so much. Thank you. Appreciate it. That's all the time we have on the Education Notebook. If you have a comment or story idea, we'd like to hear from you. You can write to us here at News 12 Connecticut. Call us or email us at news12ct at news12.com. Thanks for watching the Education Notebook.